They say that when life gives you lemons, you're supposed to make lemonade. But what if you don't like lemonade? What if you really want apple juice? Hello, <laughs> 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 awesome. great girl for me. This is Stanley and... What's it, yeah? And thanks again for joining us. Mm -hmm. um, this week, we want to go a little bit further, a little bit deeper, mm -hmm. uh, and get maybe more practical, uh, just following up on our last episode about how controlling yourself, how you can control yourself so you mm -hmm. don't have to control uh, your spouse. Mm -hmm. uh, and thanks for the comments that came in last week. And, um, and thanks for just tuning in. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to talk about tips for what I call uh, fighting fair, mm -hmm. but what uh, Otito, <laughs> uh, resident <laughs> doctor like PhD, will probably call negotiating non-destructively. Uh, okay. okay, as they say back home, now you sabi. Mm -hmm. I really hear you. Um, but you know, I always say some people don't like it too simple, like you said, right? Even though who those people are, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I guess, you know, I think thinking, talking about something that has been uh, recurring sometimes and happens, but, you know, here and there, we've, but we've learned to manage um, over time. And that had to do with timing concerning um, utility bills. <clears throat> we live in America. You know that utility bills can cost you your house. <laughs> Yes, and um, <laughs> this particular saw issue with utility. What? What? It's always a story, right? Yeah. Uh, and the story is that Oti kept on uh, asking me, "Have you paid this bill? Mm -hmm. Are you going to pay this mm -hmm. bill? You know." Uh, mm -hmm. And I would always say, "Listen, it's on my plate to do. I've got so many. Things. I'll, I've got it. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Don't. I've got it. Don't worry about it." Mm -hmm. Until the inevitable, evitable <laughs> happened, <laughs> and. Uh, I didn't pay the bill. Mm. We got a late bill. Uh, and with the fine on top, the interest or whatever it is, late payment bill. So what happened mm. is that I was quite upset with myself, uh, quite upset mm. with Otito. Mm -hmm. uh, don't ask me why I was upset with Otito. So let's just say, she didn't tell me I told you so, but she had this look of, didn't I tell you so? <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, so yeah, I'm not giving you enough context. Ah, it's the God. water bill. Water bills come quarterly. Yes. Yeah, yes, quarterly. So for someone to not pay one quarter means another three months. <laughs> three months. I just, you know, I always say this that when people are giving the stories behind conflict, you just smooth it over, make it seem like, oh, you know, nothing there. But three months was there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of what I want to clarify. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I have to give it to talk kudos for not saying I told you so. I'm, I'm not sure that I've been able to have the same constraint. But, you know, I had to do a little bit of self-confrontation. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they call it. So mm -hmm. that, you know, I don't get angry uh, unnecessarily. Now, what really was going on? And I think if I want to be honest, completely honest, it was like some type of re a repressed attitude to money. You know, mm -hmm. my whole idea was that uh, let me hold on as long as I can mm. until another income comes in before <laughs> I pay that particular bill so that they share more in the accounts, you know. Salaried somebody. I think another part of the context that, that somebody might say is well, like, why, you know, didn't I pay the bills myself? Mm -hmm. But that's something too that we've kind of worked on um, through the years because the bills are in his name. Mm. I cannot tell you, you know, how that transpired. But I guess the first person to make the call, like when you get the house and you're setting up all these things, it goes in that person's name. And to me, I felt if the bills are in your name and I keep paying them, then what am I doing? Right? Like if I keep collecting every bill that mm. comes in and pays it, um, in as much as that would be nice to keep the house going but i feel like you know where's the responsibility there almost like enablement right in that sense um but yeah i mean this is can be good luck mm -hmm. you know there are mm -hmm. good luck issues where so i think one of the um best ways to go about at least for what we found one of the mm -hmm. best ways to go about on on tangling yourself from those groups to kind of find out what is the goal behind um your, your partner's objective, mm -hmm. you know, and find out what exactly that they are trying to to accomplish, as opposed to coming out. They're not paying bills. Ah, I forgot to. Uh, okay. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> 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 okay. 
<laughs> no, it's, I think it would be more in terms of like, what's the thing that is holding them back, right? Yeah. Because I'm the kind of person, if a bill comes in, you just pay it because you don't want to forget. And the forgetting is not like something is wrong with you in terms of character, but there's so many things to do in a day. There's only so much hours in the day. So for me, it's once it comes in, just, you know, um, cleared out. But I guess for you, you had a, a, a system set. that I wanted to use, you know, and my system, system that was not working. My system had some errors, <laughs> <laughs> some system errors in it. Well, laughing about it. Dramatic errors. Laughing about this thing, but this thing, this error. thing, uh, shy, cause yeah. some serious yeah. contact. Yeah, you know, yeah. Have. So, but now, I mean, the the thing is. If you can uncover what what is the thing that is holding you back and not doing it and sometimes you'll not get to the bottom of it mm -hmm. because it's not like you know this is something that over over years right like comes up here and there you, if it's not water bill is something and so the best thing is i think for me like when you're asking what could have been the thing for me it's just a situation of like almost like they'll get there when they'll get there right in that sense because it was i don't know that it was anything that i did in terms of but the reminder was have you paid the bill mm -hmm. that that's, that's my right. responsibility to do yeah. to say you know the water bill that came in have we um paid it right have we paid it have we done this and that but again you know it's a question of what's holding what's holding you back like what is the thing that makes you just say I'll get to it and then not get to it, considering that, you know, so, some actions have more consequences than mm, others. I think that's kind of, for me, the thing, you know, and if you keep making everything into this big to-do bucket, it's going to sink mm. to the bottom, right, in that sense. I have to, I have to I appreciate you having soft starts and taking making the conversation mm -hmm. um delicate mm. these are actually delicate conversations mm -hmm. that uh if handled with anger can mm -hmm. really escalate you know mm -hmm. i would clearly have fault here because it was my responsibility and i dropped the ball mm -hmm. you know but um i'm just i, I just give I give you kudos and i think that helped escalate i mean not escalate de-escalate de <laughs> that helped de escalate things so like okay let's get back on track what exactly is, and you mm -hmm. kind of go to the root cause mm -hmm. of, of the problem mm -hmm. um so what I, are some things that people can do well to... i mean for me i i i there were like three particular things that i keep them one I try not to drive the conversation, mm -hmm. be on the receiving end to listen to what you are trying mm -hmm. to, to say. Let you essentially let you land, let mm -hmm. you finish listening. Mm -hmm. Um, I tried not to defend myself, mm -hmm. you know, because that and that takes me off on a tangent whereby I'm no longer listening to what you're saying, mm -hmm. but I'm waiting for my next my next response. And mm -hmm. I try not to demean the whole situation and say, oh, it's only a water bill, or mm -hmm. you sure don't know what you're you're talking about. So you sure, but anyway. Or mm -hmm. your own is too much. Well, that wouldn't be a D, and I was trying to say to me, D. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, those were three things I tried when having these mm -hmm. delicate conversations. Mm -hmm. right? I tried not to drive it. Since the, let the person have the floor, get their full point across. Mm -hmm. um, do not defend yourself. Mm -hmm. Hear what the person has to say in its entirety. entirety and then um, do not demean, them. validate the person. Hear the person's side. Mm -hmm. But isn't that hard to do though when you yeah, when yeah. when you are clearly in the wrong, right? I feel like there's uh, the defensiveness that comes when you know you didn't do anything. Okay. And then there's the defensiveness that comes when you know you did something. Hmm. When you know you are in That's the wrong. Hard. And one of them is the will I say the harsher one. Right, I, as in this is what my experience has taught me, and it's harsher because you know you've done something wrong, and you're just really upset that somebody, you know what called I mean, like you, you know you dropped the ball, like you said mm -hmm. yes, and then you're upset that somebody called you out on it, right? And so, I guess in another episode we'll deal with how do you handle those kinds of defensiveness, right, from yourself and from the other person that is bringing it up. You understand? I mean, I'm I'm a um, Color outer, I see, right? <laughs> Color outer. So I go, you know, you're being defensive right now. Like, you know, that, you know, your reaction is uh, not commissary. Yes, exactly. Like, 
your reaction is not commensurate to the statement I just made. Essentially, you know, as you say, I speak big English, interrogate what is going on, like check, check yourself, like what's happening. And then I leave it, you understand, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I mean, and I've been known to tell you, don't project your thing on me. And not because it's like, I'm trying to feel whatever, but it's just a clear statement of the bill came with a late fee and it's like, what happened? I thought you said you had paid it. And then, it, you know, so in that instance, it's like, this is not about me. You know, that's what I always say, that mm -hmm. this is not about me right now. And I think when that said, it's, it's almost like an unspoken, uh, what's that word? Code word, right? A word to just say, okay, let's hold off. Let me go and check what's happening here so that we can have the conversation um, later. Like a safe word. A safe word, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when that kind of thing happens, I just say, this is not about me right now. As in, we, we kind of typically end it there and then you go do your thing <laughs> and then we'll have the conversation I mean, again. Normally, it is, we might say you go different shifts <laughs> and then come back and, and finish that. You go and do your thing. Just don't put this sort of be as my father's child. <laughs> Even damn your wife. <laughs> No, but uh, I, it just reminds me of this funny quote that somebody had that said that, uh, what's it, that most marriages um, survive over the thing that you did not say as opposed to what you should have said. You know? but, but, but I, I digress with that. Yeah. I mean, self competition is difficult. Yeah. Speaking for me, it's difficult. Yeah. But I, it, it helps you tease out issues so you are addressing the main issues and not the secondary, secondary yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's what we found like there's always something if you dig deep enough there's always something behind a person's response their reactions their non-reaction because mm -hmm. that's another thing too right by non-reaction it means not even giving a response to the person which you've heard us so. say here before that's stonewalling right so there's the reaction and there's the non-reaction all of that right if you probe underneath there's always something and so the question is that probing you know which we necessarily don't want to do but what happens in marriage is that it's almost like the other spouse can see the thing that yeah. we are not seeing and that's what makes it more painful, painful. Not, not that we're not seeing the thing we are choosing not, not to, to see. see and that's what makes it more painful so it's it's two things right the person is there to help you grow help you actualize but then you also have to do your own work of excavating right and then they have to be patient to uh, wait while you're doing the work for those that choose to do it those that choose to <laughs> I mean, yeah. and, and I'm just looking at it for me, but it can be difficult on the other person's side mm -hmm. where you can see this thing clearly mm -hmm. and it doesn't make any sense to you mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. it's not getting done. Mm -hmm. But, but well, yeah. um, that's what we have for you for Today. this week. Yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh -huh. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh -huh. And we'll have some more uh, de escalatory tips for you guys next week. And we'll keep paying our bills. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>